I'm making this video for people to see what a female hermit crab looks like when she's carrying an egg sac. Um, I've done research online. It says that they can reproduce every couple of weeks in the summer. <laughs> it's funny, this is actually November, but it's in Las Vegas, so it's always warm here. Um, and yeah, so I bought some fiddler crabs to actually, what I thought was going to go into just a fish tank, bought it at Walmart, and thought I was going to keep it clean with the crab, and it turns out that they actually need water and air. So I put together a, a crab habitat, and they are community animals. So I got a couple of other crabs to go in there, and here's proof that even in captivity, they can, not it's not necessarily that they will produce, because that they can. She and this big guy right here, that's her boyfriend, and if they actually decide to mate, um, they will probably go inside this tube right here, um, and she they will mate, and he will actually fertilize the egg. She will... Uh, I just disattached that from her body, as from what I've read online from all my research, and then she will incubate that for about two weeks in, in here in the tube, and then she will come out, and the eggs, if they hatch, will be little tiny microscopic crabby fiddler, fiddler crabby babies. Um, if I have said hermit crab, please forgive me because I've <laughs> found myself accidentally saying hermit crab when I really, really mean fiddler crabs. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to make this little video to show you what they look like, how they they do mate. They are connected, these two, and that's her little... They, her belly just opens up like a car trunk, and that pops out. So if they decide to mate, then it's kind of dangerous. That's why I have the filter in a glass. Uh, to keep it not only from uh, sucking up sand, but maybe to try to help prevent it sucking up the babies once they do come out, because they're going to be so tiny. There's special food you can buy in the pet store for crabs that small, and there's little um, microscopic drops, or not microscopic drops, but drops that you can put in the water to um, put microbes in there for the little babies to eat, and these guys like to eat microbes out of the sand as well. But they eat mostly uh, shrimp pellets. They really like those. They really like those a lot. And it helps keep their color. Otherwise, these guys will start to look really pale.